frames. But I, I don't use it on lower time frames. I can use it for possible entry signal, but basically when I do my analysis and when I want to see, uh, for example, next hour, two or three, where the price may be going, actually we look, uh, we look at candlesticks on higher time frames. Concentrate on 15 minutes, especially on one hour time frame, it's very important. One hour is very important and four hour time frame. Of course, daily close. If you remember our webinar, NFP strategies, we talked about daily close. Always pay attention to daily close candlestick formation after the NFP. It can, it can prepare the price for next two weeks. So we need to see that. Today's price action is a retracement. To tomorrow, I expect price to go down again. So we will see, we need to spot now we will, we will need to spot some candlesticks, bearish candlesticks close to resistance. Today we had a great, great set of candlesticks close to a support level. So today just pay attention to this. Bullish tree inside up, number of candles in configuration, three candles. It's connected to bullish Harami pattern. Look at this. First candle is bearish. This is black candle. First candle is bearish and it's clearly downtrending. After this, second candle is bullish and third candle has a higher close price than the second candle. So this is that formation. First candle bearish, second candle bullish and contained in the body of the first candle and the third candle has a higher close price than the second candle. Chris, next slide please. I will show you a practical example here. You will see I have marked with numbers. First bearish candlestick. The second candlestick is contained in the body of the first candlestick. And third is, is, is very, very strong momentum candlestick. It's some sort of a bullet candlestick. And then you will see the price has returned, then made again another variant of bullish tree inside up. And it's spiked up with a gap. So basically this is one hour time frame the price gapped upwards. So this is bullish tree inside up. So first you see downtrend, some sort of downtrend, close to support. Then we have we have second candlestick contained in the body. Yeah, we can draw a trend line here. So it's actually a support zone. And you can see how the price respected this pattern. It's called bullish tree inside up. Okay, next one, Chris. Bullish tree outside up. First, number of candles in configuration, three candlesticks. First candlestick, it's characterized by a downtrend always because we look to buy into support. First thing we learn in forex trading, when we trade conservatively, we don't do breakouts, we trade conservatively, buying into support. Today we bought into support, so this is it. Reversal patterns. First, the candle is characterized by downtrend. Second candle is engulfing or engulfer candle. Bullish engulfing candle. And third candle has a higher close price than the second candle. So after the price has engulfed the first candle in this pattern, we look to buy. This is confirmation. It's called three outside up. The third candle just go upward. It has a momentum spike upwards, so we can buy it. Uh, next slide, so we can we can see a practical practical example. Yeah, real time chart. You see, this is it. The first candle is a downtrend. It's very close to support. Look at this. I marked it on my red template. Look at this. We have very nice support zone. Those levels are manually drawn. Those are not drawn by indicator. I like to draw my levels manually because it's it's easy to spot it. You just you, you see it's a support. Second candle is engulfing candle. It completely engulfed the body of this first candle. And the third candle is a spike candle. You see, you can buy it immediately after it starts to go up. Because it already broke the high. And this is a signal for a further continuation up. At least 
yeah, it's good. Zoom in. So, so at least it, it will go to this uh, resistance. You see, a resistance has has been tested. Then you see how it continued to go up. So it's a perfect example of bullish trade up. It's it's really a good a good reversal pattern. So remember yep. this, guys. Yeah. Next one. Yeah, three white soldiers. Basically, you all know what three white soldiers are, and this is important. This candlestick pattern can be taken as a reversal and or continuation pattern. When it's close to support, then it's a reversal, but it can be connected to a strong uptrend where it makes a continuation pattern. Candles don't have to be white Marubozu candles. Marubozu candles are extremely strong bullish candles without shadows. But it's important that every candle is making a new high. So on this slide, you can see that all those three candles are Marubozu candles. They don't have wicks or a very small wick. But we don't. We can also have uh, three white soldiers with, with some wicks. It's important that every candle is making a new high. So if it's close to support, then it's a reversal pattern. If it's if it's if it happens in uptrend, then it's a continuation. Usually, if it's on a daily time frame, we spot uh, three white soldiers. Also, four day will be bullish. <clears throat> you can we can show it on slide. Yeah, oh. yeah, three white soldiers. Yeah, another. What is this Those are <laughs> a perfect example of three white soldiers. Look at this. Ah, the the price has tested the support, and look one, two, three. It's basically a reversal and a continuation pattern all in one. And look after the three white candles, what happened. The price continued to go up, retested the support, and went up to next resistance. So it's a perfect example of, of three white soldiers. Yeah, so we don't have to have basically those wicks. We, we can spot, yeah, we can spot three white soldiers even if they are without wicks. So we don't need wicks. We can have three white bodies without any wicks. It's also quali qualified, as, qualified as, as three white soldiers. What is important is that every candle in succession needs to have a higher close and higher high than the, the prior one, last one. OK, next right. slide. Bullish abandoned baby. This candlestick is usually that's a hor bullish. horrible name, actually. <laughs> yeah, bullish abandoned baby. Yeah, horrible <laughs> name. <laughs> but why? Why you know? Why is that called abandoned baby? It usually appears in in stock markets uh, because stock market has a much more gaps than yeah. than forex market. Yep. Forex you market have usually have uh, gaps in uh, has gaps in in, in in uh, retail trading, so we traders who basically trade in a retail on a retail platform, we can spot a gap because you know on weekend only interbank market uh, works. So when our broker opens up, we usually spot a gap. So it's not our broker. It's basically basically all brokers over the world have a gap if they don't have interbank trading. So Bullish and Menon baby can be spotted on forex market usually when when we see gap and gap is usually spotted on Sunday opening so don't look for that or look for that maybe on a daily close but it's it's really rare uh, first candle is bearish and it's spotted in downtrend second candle is a dodgy candle dodgy candle is this stop candle it's some sort of X across, and I call it a stop candle. Which shadow is lower than the shadow of first candle? Third white candlestick gaps in opposite direction with no shadows overlapping. So this candlestick has a gap between dodgy candle and the opening price. We will see that on practical example. I think I have spotted that on, on MetaTrader platform. Chris. Uh, on our next example, yeah, this is bullish a man on baby. You see, first candle is a bearish candle, 
and look at this. It's, it was very close to resistance, but it gapped upwards. Look at this gap. This second candle isn't exactly a doji candle, but you see how the body is very small compared to shadows or wicks. So we can say that this, this pattern can be qualified as, as, a, as, a, as a bullish abandoned baby. So guys, you know, market is not perfect. So don't watch always for perfect examples. This is, uh, every pattern has some sort of variations. So this, in this variation, this second candle, it, it's not a classical dodgy because it has a small body. But it, it is indeed a very small candle, very, very small candle. It looks like an umbrella, you see, like an umbrella candle. But this third candle is qualified for, for abandoned baby. You see, third candle gets upward, upward, and it went up. It's a, it was very close to a support, it was a resistance, but it immediately turned into support and it was retested after this candlestick formation. And if you zoom out, I think this is maybe a four hour or daily time frame. No, it's one hour, interesting. One hour, it's really hard to have a gap. But I presume it was maybe it was a Sunday or something like that. But yeah, it was a weekend. Mean, Look, January 11. Yeah, yeah, it was a weekend. Yeah, I presume that. So we can spot this pattern usually on weekends, and after probably after our broker opens up. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, there is there is. Gap. Yeah, there is the, the difference between interbank and retail uh, quotes. So we can we can move on to our next set of patterns. Interesting enough, by the way, you can see that the gap didn't get filled immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, two hours to stay here, and it actually moved away, and then filled the gap. I know that many traders try to fill, try to trade it immediately, but it doesn't happen that way. Yeah, you time. don't. We don't trade gaps on that sort of way. Maybe we will have some webinar how to trade gaps. Uh, yeah, we can take a look at that. Yeah, we can look at it because it's it's a different story. When we see a gap, we don't immediately take uh, gap trading because it can be a false gap, a runaway gap. And yep. if a runaway gap happens, all stops will be collected. Whoever took whoever took this gap trading because stop grabbing is very how can I say it's very common in in gap trading. Many times I have witnessed the traders lose money when they get, do gap trading because uh, what what the market makers do and what uh, big uh, banks and big inter, uh, institutional traders do is they know that many retail traders are for example are shorting into a gap and they will they will take a big money on they will put a big money on a long position so it's called a runaway gap the gap will collect all stops above and it will kill small retail traders. That's usually how 100 or 500 uh, 500 dollar traders lose their money. So guys, don't trade the gaps immediately. Uh, next pattern is concealing baby swallow. We have four candles in configuration. It appears in downtrend. It does not happen so often. First are two falling ma black marabozu candles. So those are black marabozu candles, candles that don't have uh, wicks. They usually are strong in the body. It's lo it looks like it can look like three white soldiers, but you see this this three this, this third candle is a short black candle with downside gap. So it's not but third candle is not marabozu. So it's not three black crows pattern, bearish pattern. It's concealing baby swallow. However, this candle trace into the previous candle's body producing a long upper shadow. You see this third candle has a long upper shadow. And fourth black candle completely engulfs the third candle including the shadow. You will see on our next slide on MetaTrader 4, you see this is concealing baby swallow. You see first two candles are some sort of marubozu candles don't have to be perfect guys they have some weeks but nonetheless they are very strong you see th those are momentum candles momentum candles are characterized by big strong bodies and these these bodies are very very strong you see two black candles and third candle is actually some sort of inverted camera 
it has it has a, a, a week. You see a week, but it's it's a pattern. Concealing baby swallow. You see, you see what happened. The price went up on X candle. It retested this resistance. It went down, but immediately it was followed by re by reversal. You see this pattern. Yeah, it, it formed a double top, but this double top has been broken. And you see what happened. It, it went down again, but it went up. But nonetheless, this this was a signal. This was a signal for a bullish, possible bullish continuation pattern. You see, it broke through a, res through a resistance. It gapped probably on, yeah, on, on the weekend, then it went up again. So this is a, you see, third uh, three three pattern three three candlestick pattern concealing baby swallow. Our next set of candles we will we will start with bullish kicking. Again, it usually appears in gapping markets such as stock market. On forex market, gaps are not so common except for retail week and open close. On forex market, piercing line pattern. I will show you that later. Is a lot more common than kicking pattern. Because kicking needs to have a gap, uh, piercing line doesn't have a gap. It's it's uh, different. So the first candle is Marbozo candle or black candlestick. Second candle we see a white Marbozo white candlestick, and the third the, uh, the third thing is that the second candle opens higher with a body gap. So this is two candlestick configuration. The first is black candle, the second is white candle, but it has a gap. Yeah, and we don't trade a gap because this is a bullish pattern. This is a stop grabbing pattern. It's, a, it's, it's because of that it's called kicking because it collects the stops. It's a stop grabber. So if you spot this pattern, don't ever try to trade gaps because the price will run, run away from your trade. It will, it will for sure, it will, you will lose money. So if you ever spot this pattern on a on a Sunday opening, don't trade it, or try to trade it in in an opposite direction. Don't try to close the gap. Open a trade in a long direction. Put the stops below this black and enjoy, especially if it's close to support. We can see that on next example. Next example is a chart taken from I think stock market. But we can see that because it's extremely rare on forex market. But if you ever spot it, you will know what to do. You see, kicking it, it goes up. It follows this support line. You see the candle, and you see the gap. You see again. You see a kicking kicker. It's called kicker. You see, and you will see that it always has a gap. And stock market traders don't trade the gaps. If they if they if they spot a bullish kicking pattern, they won't try to close this gap. You see some sort of continuation. It's a reversal and continuation pattern. Because after we spot these two candlestick formation, we can we can place a long at a at a second candle close. So it's a kicking pattern. Stop grabber. Next next set, please. Ah, morning star. Morning star is a very familiar pattern. We have three candles in configuration. It's characterized by downtrend or a retracement in bullish trend. First is a black candlestick. Second candle is a doji that gaps in the direction of downtrend. And third candlestick is white bullish candle with upward momentum. So. This is bullish morning star pattern. You will usually notice, notice that very close to a support. And this is a signal for us to go counter trade, to go long. <coughs> uh, Chris, please show us the next slide. This is it, guys. Flag, bullish flag. You see, first candle, black candle, close to support, to lower trend line of this flag formation. The third candle, you see, it goes up. First candle goes down, second candle, 
it, it is rejected from this support and it's low has a lower low than the first candle and the third candle just spikes above this second candle and it has a close above the second candle so we don't take trades into a living candle we always need to wait for the candle to close so when this candle closed we knew that this was morning star pattern and you see it broke the flag and it went up it's very it's basically it's double confirmation a flag in an uptrend and we have a morning star just just spiking up the price you see it's a perfect example of naked trading and you see where the price went up it's four hour it's four hour chart so it's really a lot of lot of pips so we can drive the price to next resistance we always when we go into a long position in, in naked trading we try to spot only big resistance or support levels in this case we need to have a big resistance level and the first big resistance was 3017 so this is a really a great example of morning star in a flag and so we can we can go another slide to another slide yeah the second variant of morning star is called morning doji star it's basically the same it's basically the same as this previous pattern but we have a cross we have a doji the second candle is a doji candle and the third candle is again it has a close you see it, it spiked up and it has closed slightly above this this second doji candle so it's again it's a it's a morning star and it really it after this it went up it, it's a four hour four hour pattern so we have a big support of with the resistance over there I can see that it's a some sort of double top so it basically it retested that double top then it dropped then it again it went up uh, after uh, just right to this pattern I can spot some sort of a variant but it, no, it's not it's not a perfect morning this is a perfect example of morning dodge star second candle needs always needs to have a close below and the wick below this first candle the wick has to protrude below this first candle so this qualif qualifies the pair as a morning star so first candle is a bearish second candle has a lower low and the third candle has an opening price above the closing price of the second candle so just remember this pattern it's very common in forex market where is the one so, you saw uh, this was Here? Uh, just right no 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 count the candles right to this pattern one two three four five six seven eight nine nine ten eleven candle you see this no no the yeah, that bearish candlestick that bearish candlestick ah. the second needed to have a close just uh, it needed to yeah. make, have a lower low to yeah, be qualified yeah, yeah. as morning star so okay, the market right, expected yeah. that, but it wasn't a perfect, it wasn't a morning star. If it had a low closer than this, this low of this first candle, it would be quali qualified as a morning star. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So next, next candlestick formation is a piercing line. And this also, guys, this, this is a very common pattern in, in Forex market. We have two candles in configuration. The first candle is a black momentum candle, Marubozu or momentum candle. The second candlestick opens up and it goes slightly down and closes more than halfway into the body of the first candle. But what the important thing is the second candle fails to close above the body of the first candle. So it's not engulfing. If it if it had closed above this black candle, it would have been called and bullish engulfing pattern but is the same except for this second candle it just it, it closes it fails to close above the body it can close just below the middle of this first candle or just above the middle of this first candle usually it closes just above the middle of the first candle but it's a signal 
where we can take the trade close to a support and it's a reversal pattern. So if we spot this on on Forex charts, our our platform, we need to go out of our position or a reverse position in a long, in a long way. So we need to take take a long trade. I think I think that I have a good example on charts. Yeah, you see that this is this was a big support 34.64, and you see the candle. The first candle is a big momentum, Marbozo candle. It went to a support. Then we had a some sort of a lower movement, but the candle closed just into the body, and this can be also qualified as a piercing line. So the the, the important thing is the body of the second candle needs. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. Uh, the close of the second candle needs to be into the body of the first candle, just below the middle or just above the middle. If it if it had closed where the upper top, upper peak of this candle is, it would be also called piercing line. So it just need to, needs to close just below or just above the middle of the first candlestick. And you will see the reaction. It was bought heavily after this. We had a nice downtrend it came to support and then it it just spiked you see the first uh, this candle the, the, after the, this pattern it's called the white marubozu candle and it's a bully candle very 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 strong candle and it's characterized in a strong momentum market such as forex market this actually ended the huge uptrend here of the euro it was that was the uh, three wave up all the way from 120 yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Spot, actually, this was the the one hour, the best one hour pin bar you could ever have, right? <laughs> because yeah, after the that pin we bar. Went, yeah, we went all the way down to one twenty nine fifty or one twenty eight fifty. We're at currently, but here, yeah, this was an aggressive correction still, indeed. Then we got aggressive a correction, move, yeah, yeah. correction, and then another down move, indeed. Yeah, interesting how these. Yeah, after after the big moves, we always need to be prepared uh, for a correction. And this, so today, this one, yeah. with this one. I mean, the, the wick is not too is not big enough on this one here. Uh, well, uh, kind of like similar to this. it can be. Yeah, it can be also called a piercing line. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is yeah. indeed a piercing line because it just closed slightly below or slightly above this this uh, first candle. So it's also piercing line. Yeah, yeah well, I told you it's very very common to yep. have those kind of patterns in forex market. You see, again, the, the price spiked upward after this after this yep. pattern. You see, it, it, it was indeed a good correction, strong correction. So next thing is belt hold lines. We have at one candlestick in configuration. After the drop in price, we observe a white Marbozo candle at the support. Again, it's characterized in downtrend. And after the price drops, we spot this white, big white candle at the support. It's called white opening marabozu, and it's a it's a signal for us to go long because it's belt hold pattern or belt hold lines. We can see that on practical example. Yep. Practical example here. This this is a example for belt hold lines. You see the price drop to support, then it was immediately rejected. It can be called this a railway pattern, but this is this is actually bell hole lines. After this the candle, the candles retested the support. Then it went up. So this was uh, well, this was uh, some 80 pip movement basically. But it was a signal for for shorts to close the trade and to go long. You see, price drops into to, to support. Then it was immediately rejected by white Marbozu candle. This candle is very important for this pattern. Mm. This candle, yeah, Marabozo, white opening Marabozo candle. And the key here, uh, to that, uh, oh wait, I went backwards, sorry, is, is that uh, the close of this one hour candle is very near the high? Because, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or how about if this would be like halfway, then it would be, you know, the piercing line is then 
actually it has a, a lower yeah it has lower a lower risk right? yeah. lower low lower risk lower risk so that's the difference there yeah different, that, different if this would be a, a wick here with the close here that's a piercing line yeah this has a the, yeah this has a higher low right yeah, so this has a higher low but how would if this would this this would have the higher low but would end here what that then it would it has to be at least close to the to the to the to the high is we it so for piercing line and then no no for this belt hole line a uh, belt no 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 it wouldn't be known as belt hole line no if yeah. the body is 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 like that as you shown it's okay it it just it uh, it must not have a wick okay it's so if wick, uh, upper shadow then it's so not if this body and the wick like this that would not no 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 it's right? not it's not so here it's some sort of inverted camera. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the, the the key is here really that it's close as close to that near that high, right? Yes, and the yeah. body needs to be strong. Body needs to be strong. So yeah, near near that. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. You see, body is very strong, and it's really a bully candle. It's a marubozu candle. It's a classic marubozu candle. So basically, we have a, to the left, we have a big big marubozu candle. You see, white opening marubozu. This is marubozu candle. And that candle, which I marked. Uh, oh no! Here, uh, uh, yeah. This is the white pierce. This is this piercing. Yeah, line. this is piercing line. Yeah. The piercing line again. Yeah. And you see white marabozu candlestick. Here and too. Look at it. Yeah, here too. You see uh, many piercing lines on forex in forex market. Yeah. <laughs> it's very common in forex. You see bell hole line again. It's characterized by this this bullish candlestick. You see, Marubozu candlestick. So, hammer, it's a typical, you know what hammer is, I know, I just presume you all know what hammer is. Uh, it's characterizing downtrend close to support. There is no upper week, but there is a very short week. It's called, uh, it's called uh, hammer variant too. We buy into it after the price has break, has broken its highs. Strong confirmation on higher time frames. So we need to spot. Usually, it's spotted on higher time frames. It can it can be traded on 15 minutes. It's okay, but the higher time frame is the more uh, valuable. This pattern is. So hammer pattern on practical example looks like. Uh, Chris, you can show us. Yes. Yeah, it's a hammer. You see, the price has been rejected of the support, and it was heavily bought after. This is a sort of uh, config. Um, this is a bullish rectangle formation, because we have some sort of uh, consolidation here. But as soon as the hammer, as the hammer appeared, the consolidation has ended, and the price spiked up. So always look. You see, this is a hammer too. Yeah. And this is a hammer too, which I marked at the chart. But the previous. It is very important that you know that this is a bullish consolidation because because we have a rectangle here, and after after this, yeah, this is a rectangle, and after this hammer has been observed, we placed a long trade because it's a it's a very close to support, and it broke to this support. After that, it was retested, and we see how the price behaved. It went all the way up to 3709. Yeah. Ah, this is the, uh, the fall we were just looking at. Actually. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, the fall. Uh -huh. <laughs> inverted hammer. It's the same as the hammer, but it looks like inverted hammer. Uh, we have two candlestick configuration. First candle of the pattern is a black candlestick, so it means it characterized in downtrend. Again, it's a reversal pattern. On the second candle, a small body at the lower end of the trading range is observed. Color of this body is not important. The upper shadow of this second candlestick should be at least twice as long as the body, and there is almost no lower shadow. So the, the shadow and this week should be at least twice as long as the body of this candlestick, inverted camera. So we can show that on next example. You see? The week is twice as long as the body. First, we had a black marabozu candle that, re that tested the support. After the support has been tested, we had an inverted hammer. You see inverted hammer. And the price spiked up. So basically, 
this was a sort of you we can see that this was a sort of W pattern, some sort of reversal, one to three reversal pattern. But you see how yeah, the W it, it came just to a resistance. So you will see that yeah, it can be characterized is a strong retracement. Yeah, and there is a triangle also. But you see how the price retested its previous resistance after oh, yeah. inverted hammer. So always pay attention on higher time frames, one hour, four hour and daily time frame. If you spot inverted hammer, try to enter a long trade, especially if it's a very close to support. See 33.50 it's a natural support, it's big bang support because big banks always trade at zero zero and five zero levels. So this is probably an institutional trader buying into this support and we retail traders need to follow it. So when you spot a hammer, inverted hammer candlestick formation and you're trying to go short, close it and reverse this your trade. This one actually, I, I just quickly checked on the chart. Uh, this one, when we um, when we had that fall on the euro, we made a three wave correction. This is the the next fall actually. And after this, I just checked the charts. We make a correction all the way to 135.20 before we move down again. Mm, it's <laughs> a very big retracement. <laughs> yeah, it was a big retracement indeed. So just in case uh, anyone was curious what happened, we made a three wave up all the way to here. Mm -hmm. Interesting, very interesting. Harami pattern. Next pattern, Harami, number of candles in configuration 2. The market is characterized by a prevailing downtrend. First candle we observed is a black candle. Second candle is characterized by the white body which is completely engulfed by the body of the first candle. So the first candle is a black candle and the second candle's body is is woven, is engulfed by the body of the first candle. We will see that it's a not bullish squeeze. Bullish squeeze is another story, I will show you that later. It has three candles. This Harami has two candles in configuration. And we can spot that in this example. You see a Harami pattern. The body of the first, second candle is completely engulfed at the body of previous candle. You see how this this white body is engulfed into this in, in this by this black candlestick, and it's again it's a sort of a support, and it's we had afterward we had a, a bearish flag, but nonetheless it's a support. You but see, just, I always wondered about this one because um, what is different here than what if this is? Wouldn't you say this is just an inside candle? And I, I would expect. Because it's I, a side I, candle, yeah, it's a side bar, a yeah, side candle. Would it, then you wouldn't expect that normally to continue? No, it's close to support. Ah, close to support, okay. You're very close to support. Because uh, I never got this shows. one that well, to be honest. I never understood this one. And you see this, you look at this, we can, we can connect this support. I can see that immediately. You see this week and this trend line, we have a trend line here. Not trend line? that can trend line this week below this, this one. We have a trend line, uh, nice trend line. This, this, this like this? Yeah, this is the trend okay. line. Also, also this, you can connect this lower week. You see, it's a, some sort of a double bottom. And we ha when we have a double bottom and we have this rejection candle, Harami, we go long. You see, it's, it's a, some sort of double bottom. But if it would be a bit lower, right, then it's uh, this, this uh, uh, piercing... Um... Yeah, it would, be, it would be known as a piercing line. Yeah. But this is, this is a classical Harami pattern. Because, because the body is completely engulfed, you see. Okay. The the body is completely engulfed. It's a big body, and it's even the the first candle is even has a bigger body. You gotcha. see how the big yeah, and it's very close to a support. Yeah. So basically, this is Harami. Bullish engulfing. This is another example of engulfing pattern. We have two candles in configuration. First candle is a bearish candle, where the second candle completely engulfs the first. So engulfing pattern is very common. It's very common in forex market. And again, the higher the time frame is, the more confirmation we have to trade it. 
So engulfer completely eats the first candle. We can show that on our next slide. You see, I marked two engulfers, the first and the second. And you see how the body of the first candle is completely, completely eaten by the body of second candle. So it's a sort of engulfing candle. Again, it was close to a support in an in a uptrend. It has a rectangle pattern. And after this pattern, after this rectangle, a rectangle has been broken, the price had a strong momentum up. But you see, this was a signal to go long, guys, because there are two patterns close to each other, two engulfing patterns, bearish engulfers very close to support and those are characterized by big bodies which eat the body of the first candle. Here too maybe. Yeah, but those are bearish now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bearish. <laughs> I, was thinking <laughs> I was thinking engulfing out of my mind. But <laughs> yeah, it's engulfing, but it's a bearish <laughs> now. Yeah, of course. Next <laughs> it's week. It's <laughs> sort of a dark cloud. Yeah. <laughs> We have to wait a week still. So break away. This pattern is also not. Oh wait, very sorry, sorry. Uh, ta -da, ta -da. Um, mm -hmm. Completely engulfing means also the wings. No, it's important. Uh, it's important. Only body is important. Wick is not important. Yeah. Wick is is not so important for engulfing. Only the bodies. The bodies needs to be engulfed. So the first candle's body needs to be engulfed by the second candle's body. Wicks are not important there. Just the bodies. If the body is eaten by the second candle, then we call that engulfing, either a bullish or a bearish. So break away. We have five candles in configuration. The color of the first strong back candle represents the current downtrend. The second candle is also black and the body gaps in the direction of the trend. The third and the fourth candles continue the trend direction. It is better if the third candle is white, but it may also be black as the fourth candle. We will see that on practical chart. Fifth candle is a white one that closes inside the gap formed between the first two candles. Chris, you can show the chart so it will be more easy to understand. You see, I have marked this with numbers. The first candle is a big black candle in downtrend. The second candle gaps, and that is what I was talking about. It's a runaway gap. You see, the price didn't close the gap. It went down, down, down to a bigger support. But the third, fourth, uh, the second, the third, and the fourth candle didn't make a new support. And the fifth candle completely ate the bodies of third and fourth candle. You see, after this gap, the third and fourth candle uh, didn't make a new low. It, uh, the, the fourth candle tried to make a new low, but it was rejected. And the fifth candle is a confirmation. The fifth candle is a confirmation of this pattern. If there is no fifth candle, this is a not this is not breakaway pattern. Only if we have five candles in succession, as in this example, we can say that this is a breakaway pattern. So the fifth candle needs to eat bodies of the second, the third, and the fourth candle. After that, it goes up. You see, it's a very, very strong pattern because it's on daily time frame, and it's close to a support. And you see, the price shoot it up for almost a thousand pips on daily time frame. So this is a five candle configuration. Just yep. for the second, third, and fourth candlestick, and the fifth candlestick, if it eats the bodies of second, third, and fourth, it's a breakaway. And it usually has a big target. Is the target is much bigger than classical, usual candlestick patterns. And I think that this candlestick pattern can be spotted on high time frames, daily, weekly, monthly. Maybe on four hour, but it's more important on daily, weekly, or monthly. Especially on daily time frame. Uh, by the way, before we uh, continue to the next slide, uh, Kyle, Kyle Yan was asking about the difference here. I'll just quickly explain that uh, Harami is where we have 
a uh, a bearish candle like this, for example, and then a bullish candle like this, for example. So first the bearish, then the bullish, and the engulfing is the other way around. Let's color let's color this uh, red so that we know that this is the bearish one, and the engulfing is the other way around, where we have the bearish candle first here, and then the engulfing one, which is bigger. Exactly. All right. So again, I'll color this one red. So it's exactly the the in this case the opposite. First the I mean uh, bearish bullish, but uh, but uh, the sizes are the other way around. Of course, the size is yeah. important, and the color and of the candle is important. In the first example of Harami, uh, bearish candlestick is to the left of the candle, and in a in a engulfing candle uh, engulfing candlestick pattern, the first candle is bearish and the second candle is bullish. So the second candle eats completely the body of the first candle. So it's some sort of outside bar, of outside candle. It completely eats the body of the first candle. And it's more important, guys, to remember the engulfing candle. It's more common than this karami. And if you see, if you ever see this, you know that this is a bullish reversal pattern. So those are two. We have the differences between those patterns. And the more you take a look in, in your charts, the more sure you will be about the patterns. So if you can get some sort of indicator that can show you, there was a good indicator called, I think, Candle Star. You can Google it if it still happens to exist. And it showed almost of, e of each and every pattern I am I'm pre uh, presenting you today. So uh, Candle Star, I think it's called indicator. I cannot remember. But this, this is very important. You need to practice this. You need to spot the patterns and you you know the, you need to spot the the effect after the the pattern has been spotted. So these are all our bullish reversal patterns. And the more you know of it, the more the, the richer you become because it will serve you good. Believe me. So let's get into uh, this. One more question: Second candle, <coughs> second candle, the Harami pattern must not be larger more than twenty five percent of first candle. That it, it can be larger, but it can be larger than the first candle. It's okay, 25, 30% of the first candle, it's okay. But in either way, it shouldn't be larger than the first candle. If the candle is larger, the second candle is larger than the first candle, it's not harami. It's called engulfing. So it's a bullish engulfing pattern. If the second candle is, its body is bigger than the first candle, and it eats the body of the first candle, then it's called engulfing. It's not harami. I think that this is, you just need to pay attention to this and you try after this webinar, you try to spot those patterns on your charts. So now we will talk some, some sort of common patterns that can happen even on one minute time frame. But again, the higher the time frame is, the more confirmation you have for a trade. Doji cross and star patterns. Harami cross, doji star and three star. All these patterns are characterized by common thing. And we always need to pay attention to it. When you spot a cross, I call it a stop candle. We either close the trade or we enter a possible reversal. Stop candle or a cross is a sign that the trend is about to weaken. And it signals impending reversal. So you see, the first, second and the third picture. They all have stars or crosses. First is bullish Karami cross. You see the cross is inside the first candle. Bullish doji star. The doji is just below this, this first candle. And bullish three star pattern, we have three stars. So you see, just if you spot this cross, a stop candle, either reverse the trade or, or you go out of trade. Because it's a reversal sign. We will show you that on, on charts, next chart. You see, this is a cross and it, it's been close to support and we can draw the support here and we, when, uh, when we spot this cross, there are many crosses in this chart. You can see to the left the second 
the second, yes, this is a cross. Also, there is another cross here, another cross there, another cross here. It took some time, but again, you see, after this, the price went up. There is a strong momentum to the upside because sellers didn't have strength to lower the price. That's when price went up. So you see how the crosses behave when they are close to support. Yeah, so that's it. Doji cross and star patterns. Tweezers. We have two candles in configuration. First candle is a bearish candle and it closes near the support or daily low. Second candle completely negates the first. It goes in the opposite direction of the first candle. And it erases all the losses of a previous candle. Bullish tweezers have a small wick at the top of the candle. The main difference between railway and tweezer is the same is that the railway pattern is without wicks. So just con concentrate on this pattern. You can call it railway if you want, but this is a, this is basically the same. Tweezers. The first candle is bearish. The second candle is almost the same as the first, but in an opposite direction. It's a strong, very strong reversal pattern. We can see that on next example. You see, we were very close to support and then we had tweezers. And you see in a big downtrend how the price became. It immediately corrected. So after this support has been tested, we have a big, it's a daily time frame, so it's a lot, a lot, a lot number of a lot of pips for this particular trade. You see how the price respected this? After the tweezers have been formed, the price spiked up for almost 200 pips. So it went up. You see tweezers. When you see that, guys, reverse your trades or exit a short trade. Again, we have some sort of tweezers, but it was good for, well, it, it, it was 100 pips, I think, this week, Chris. It's a 400 pips. You see the tweezers down below. Here, here are the tweezers. Just right to this. Yeah, the tweezers. Tweezers bottom. Look at this. Remember, this is daily time frame, and the price spiked up after this high has been broken for a good 120, 150, or almost 20, 200 pips. You mean this one? Yeah, here? that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tweezers. This one is uh, the piercing one. Piercing line, yes. Piercing lines are very common in our market. Yeah. Very, very common. Even golfing here. You can see them everywhere. Yeah, market. golfing, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, here's Again, maybe. Is this a tweezer too, or is it just too yeah, big? No, it's a golfing. Uh, it's not a tweezer. It's a golfing. It's a golfing, yeah. It's just a bit higher in the, yeah. If the If the close was just a little bit lower than the first candle, it can be called, it can be known as tweezers. We also need a wick for tweezers to be qualified as tweezers. If we don't have a week, we call this railway. Uh, this pattern without any weeks is called railway pattern. If it has weeks, it's called tweezers. But basically and the purpose is the same. And the, the effect will be the same? The effect will be the, completely the same. Yeah. You just go along. That's nothing. Yeah. So next, next slide. Someone is asking about the recording. The best is to check the website, or I'm not sure exactly where it is on the website, or otherwise send an email to customer service. I, I, I'm not I aware. Think it's, there is a recording. You know where it is? I recording? think you can check it on, on our website. Let me let me check it. Uh, I will tell you now. Uh, I think, uh -huh. yeah, under the free education, there is a, a section live webinars and video archive. So you just click on video archive and you will see that all webinars have been recorded. I think not maybe all of them, but this should be recorded. I will I will ask support to record it. So don't worry guys. This will be recorded. This is this is recorded, but it will be uploaded to our our website. Yes. So adamarkets.com education webinars. Under the webinars, there is live webinars and video archive. You just click video archive and you will see the webinars. And uh, someone's asking about um, someone's asking about uh, the accuracy percentage of all patterns. 
Actually, the accuracy percentage, a, well, you see, somewhere. guys, the, the simple answer is there is no accuracy percentage. The, the higher the time frame is, the chances are bigger. So basically, if you spot it on one hour, four hour and daily time frame, you can try to trade it. Uh, now, this is the first step. In order to know how to walk, you need to learn to go step by step. Then after some time, you will run. The first thing is we need to introduce you to specific patterns you can find on Forex Max. After that, we will show you bearish candlestick and we will have a special webinar about trading naked. Then you will use all of this information into a trading strategy. So now for this example, don't try to manipulate the numbers, percentage points as AETC. Just concentrate on reversal patterns. Try to spot it on your higher time frame charts and you will see by yourself how those react and behave after they have been spotted. So just practice and you will see the percentage in, in your mind. This is daily time frame. Maybe on five minute time frame it won't be so much impact. But just remember guys, these first tweezers I marked on this chart, uh, they had a Maybe it's, uh, well, it was uh, all, almost three or four hundred pips in profit. So the higher the time frame is, the better your, your, your the, 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 you will have more chances for percentage to be successful. So just look at higher time frames, four, one hour, four hour and daily time frame. And you will see how, how good those patterns are, believe me, very good. Bullish white Marubozu candles. Those are strong bullish candles named Marubozu or a bullish candle. And they usually mark strong buying into support or a resistant breakout. First is white closing Marubozu. It has a week to the downside. White opening Marubozu has a week to the upside. And white Marubozu doesn't have a week at all. You don't have to know all of the names. Just if you spot this big bully candle, you know it's Marubozu candle. And those are candles, momentum candles. So usually they indicate a strong buying. Yeah, Chris, you can show us. Yeah, you, I, I, I marked it on my chart. You see the big Marubozu candle, candles. They're all marked on the charts. So when you spot on higher time frames, don't immediately trade. Wait for retracement. You can draw a Fibonacci level just at, the, at this one particular candle. And you can trade Fibonacci level just by this one candle. So this is 61.8 retracement. Maybe this is 78.6 retracement. When you spot big Marubozu, now I'm telling you this uh, something about naked trading. When you open a big time, time frame, for example, daily chart, and you spot this candle, you just draw your Fibonacci lines on those candles and you can trade those candles by themselves you don't need swing points this candle is enough for a swing point because it indicates a strong buying momentum so you just need this big big candle to trade it by itself so how is it traded you spot the candle you draw Fibonacci level and you enter on 56 1 or 78.6 percent retracement you see how the price behaved it went down to retest those FIBO levels, then it, it, it continued to go up and it's a big number of pips. It's almost 500 pips. So that's, it's even more than 500. It's a daily time frame. So that's it how we trade and how we spot those candles. So Marubozu candle can be traded by itself and we will show you that on naked trading. For first step, just try to uh, memorize this candle. <clears throat> would, you, would you think that uh, this one as well, this one? Yes, of course, it's a Marubozu yeah. candle. No, this is three, well, three soldiers, Chris. This last one you marked, these are three yes. white soldiers. Yeah, these are three white soldiers. Yeah. At the support, you see, at the support we have two Marubozu candles and the third is white soldier. Yeah. You this one is the, the, uh, the inline. Yeah, it's in line. It's a harami. <laughs> ah, the harami, yeah. Yeah, harami, yeah. You see how those are traded, but you see 
This is our bullshit candle. Arson. Yeah, oh, you see, those are <laughs> black candles, very strong. <laughs> yeah. But usually, how I trade those candles, if I trade it, I wait for retracement. I usually wait for a retracement. I don't trade it after because it's a big range. It's a very yeah. big range. So we need a retracement for that. And here we had two as well, actually. Yeah, two Marubozo strong candles. And you see how the price retested those two Marubozo candles. It's 50% of FIBO. You see? And it went up. Those are black Marubozo candles. And again, they are retested. We will show you that this is very, very easy to spot and it can be very effective if you trade the daily time frames, guys. This is one of higher uh, time frame strategies of naked trading. You just wait for Marabozo to appear, then you wait for it race and you go in a trend direction, in a Marabozo direction. This is bullish squeeze pattern. Number of candles, three. Black candlestick appears on the first candle. The second and the third candles each have lower highs and higher lows than the previous candle. Their color is not important and the sizes of the bodies of the three candles do not matter. So guys, you see, bullish squeeze. This is bullish squeeze. It looks like a triangle, but you see how the bodies are contained into the body of the first candle. We can show that on practical chart. Practical chart is this is my chart yeah basically this is it you see well I, I didn't this this should be uh, just slightly to the left you see but we can we can call this a bullish squeeze even this three candle candle configuration the first the second and the third you see they have all have a common thing higher highs and higher lows. You see, higher, uh, sorry, lower highs and higher lows. You see, lower highs, the first trend line, and higher lows, the second trend line, which makes a triangle formation. You see, we can spot this easily. And this is bullish squeeze, because this, the price is being squeezed close to support. This blue line is actually one of alligator's line. And it's uh, it's uh, some sort of consolidation when alligator is sleeping. That's another theory now, but it doesn't matter for this. You, this is a bullish squeeze, very very strong, and potentially it's one of most rewarding patterns because it's directly connected to a triangle breakout. So when you see a bullish squeeze such as this, you need to see first candle is a black candlestick, but the 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 other the second candle has a lower high and the third candle has also a lower high. The supports are high lows, high low and high low. So it's characterized by three lower highs and three high lows. When you connect those tops and bottoms it makes a triangle. If the triangle is broken it's a double confirmation. Bullish squeeze into a triangle. So it's a, if you have a big support such as for example, this alligator line or a trend line, it's immediately signal to go long. You don't need other indicators. You see, the, the triangle has been broken, retested, and continuation. Breakout, pullback, continuation. Into a bullish squeeze. So this is one, guys, of secrets. There are no many examples you can find over the internet on bullish squeeze. I don't think that any of you heard for this uh, prior to this webinar, so concentrate on this pattern, especially if you trade on higher time frames. It can be most rewarding. Triangle breakout with pullback continuation into bullish squeeze. Very, very good pattern. Especially if it consolidates at the support or if it's testing the resistance, previous resistance, it indicates either a reversal or a continuation. Yeah, you see this, we talked about this breakout pullback continuation, signaled by bullish squeeze. So I think 
uh, if you saw as the next slide, but it, yeah, 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 I have special, ah, well, I have special uh, surprise for you guys later. Uh, usually, it happens uh, once or twice per month, or maybe once in six months. I will show you that later. But for now, we have bullish continuation patterns, rising three methods. This is one of continuation patterns. It's a zigzag formation. It's seen and it can be seen in an uptrend. So we now are talking about uptrend. It's continuation. So we have an uptrend, five candle configuration. First candle is strong bullish candle that retraces next three candles. But the second, the third, and the fourth candle remain in the range of the first candle. Those are characterized by consecutive lower highs where weeks may slightly vary. Fifth candlestick breaks resistance to the upside and that is called bullish continuation. This is very common, very common candlestick in a zigzag trending market. I will show you on the next set of charts. This is a typical uh, rising three methods. You see we have a breakout of the upside, we can draw a trend line. After the breakout we have consecutive lower lows. This is a slightly variant of uh, rising three methods because the second candle has a week to the upside. But nonetheless, if you see this uh, from a higher perspective, you will see that this is indeed a retracement. Because if you spot, if you observe the bodies of these candles, they all have lower lows. The bodies, just ignore the weeks now, the bodies have lower lows. But the week, weeks in this uh, has never uh, penetrated to the lower side. It res they respect this trend line. So it's a zigzag breakout, then three candle pullback, then continuation. It's very common. Breakout, three candle pullback, continuation. Sometimes it can be two candles, but usually those are three candles. And if you spot three candles, th those are rising three methods. And they're always found uh, only in uptrend. This is continuation, not a reversal pattern. One, two, three. Breakout, pull back three candle, then four candle brace the resistance. You see? And the price continued to go up. So next slide, please, Chris. Met hold. This is same as rising three matters except for the gap on the second candle. As I already told you, in forex market, rising three methods are not so common. Uh, sorry, met hold is not so common. Rising three methods is more common than met hold, while stock markets show more of met hold patterns. So it is the same thing except that the second candle has a gap. If we see this pattern, it's you can call it rising three methods. It's, it's basically the same except for the gap. It can be spotted on daily time frame, on Sunday opening, and it indicates, again, bullish continuation. Don't try to trade this short. Always wait for retracement, then go long. Don't try to close the gap if you see this pattern. It's bullish mat hold. It's continuation, bullish continuation pattern. We can sh you can show us, Chris, the next slide. You see? Again, it's more familiar to, to stock markets. You see how the price has spiked up after the gaps, you see? And you see the fifth candle. You see, just, just look at the chart. It will be, it's the same as rising three methods except for the gaps. So it's basically a continuation, bullish continuation, and you don't never tr ever try to trade this short. It will, it will burn your trade, that's for sure. Next slide, Chris. Next slide is side-by-side -side white lines. We, we have three candles in configuration, three candles. First candle appears in an uptrend, and it's initial trigger for the second candle makes a new high compared to first candle. And the third candle has a candle close same as second candle, except it makes a new it except it makes a new high. Second variant is the same except for the third candle doesn't make a new high, but it has a high low. This will be easier to spot it on on a real time chart. Now we will show you 
bullish side by side. Chris, you can show us a slide. This is side by side on daily chart. You see, first candle, we have a bullish candle, and then we have basically uh, same candle just to the right of it. It's continuation. It, 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 it isn't, uh, now probably you guys will ask me, is it Harami or something like that? It's not, because uh, Harami is characterized in downtrend. This is uptrend. This is continuation. This is not a reversal. Harami is reversal pattern. This is continuation. So, the, you see a uh, candle prior to this, these two candles. It's a bullish candle. And after this, we have basically consolidation, but both candles are bullish. They almost are the same. It's some sort of a squeeze, but they are the same. And the first candle is important. It's bullish, and after the bullish candle, almost a new, almost there are two candles that are almost the same height, of the same heights. So basically, it's side by side white lines. It's continuation pattern. We go up after this. So it's some sort of consolidation in a bullish uptrend. Remember this. If you spot this or a variant of this candlestick, you always have to know, prepare to go long. And next one is, oh, yeah, special upward. Yeah, yeah, special upward reversal pattern. It's characterized on Fridays. It happens on Fridays and prior to important news and data releases. These usually happen in a news trading environment or when profit taking needs to be a big one, such as New Year. I will show you a New Year example of this pattern. The market is an uptrend and we observe three consecutive higher highs, where the four candle represents closing of long positions so-called profit-taking, where market is preparing for the uptrend continuation. But at first, it needs to collect some stops and to clear weak retail traders. It happens on Fridays and prior to important news and data releases. It's upward reversal pattern. Show us the charts, please, Chris, and everything will be clear. You see this? One, two, three candle to the upside and the four candle ate them all. But what happened? Usually traders would think this is a reversal bearish pattern, but it was not. This is for one hour time frame. The price spiked up uh, uh, almost 150 pips. It ate all the sh all the weak traders, all the weak, all the weak shorts, and after that it went down. You see, the first it was an uptrend. One, two, three candles. Then the fourth candle ate them completely. And what an experienced trader would do, they would short into this. And of course they would be eaten. Because even we have a gap here. We have a gap and it's a hundred and fifty pip gap. So basically this happened in the new year. So watch for important news. Watch so I was for asking prices. if this is three white soldiers. Yeah, this well basically it's not white soldiers. Uh, just because this is uh, okay, we need big, bigger bodies to be characterized as three white soldiers. We need to have bigger bodies. Uh, three white soldiers are characterized by bigger bodies. If you see this first candle is is a small, very small body. The second candle has a bigger body, and the third candle again it's inverted hammer. If you see that, this is inverted hammer. You see, and you can if, if this is indeed a resistance zone. This inverted candle signaled this next candle to go short. But don't, don't try to trade this. You need four candles for this pattern. The fourth candle is most important because it eats all the, those candles. So this is not, this is of course, this is not uh, three white soldiers. Three white soldiers have uh, in common that bodies are strong and they have higher highs. But bodies need to be bigger, much bigger than this. This is black crows. Uh, Chris, uh, point to, to this black cross here. Oh. No, 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 a previous Sorry. black cross. This first candle where the arrow is. Above, above this. No, no, no. Above, the, no, no. Above this black. Mm -hmm. The first. You see the arrow, the red, the red arrow here. Oh, here. This is the first. The second and the third is the same as bullish white soldiers, but those are called black cross. 
because this is bearish candlestick reversal. You see this is reversal pattern. This is called three black crows and it's the same as three white soldiers except the bodies are black. Those are short trades. So when you spot white bodies and it, they, it goes upward, it's bullish pattern, white soldiers. When you spot three bearish candlesticks, I will show you in next, next webinar, bearish patterns, those are black crows. So the thing, the, the point is the same. Just the direction is, 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 is another way. But the point, the thing is the same. We, if we spot three black crows, we go short. If we spot three white soldiers, we go long. This is three line strike. First, second, and third candle, and then fourth candle ate them all. So it's a bullish continuation. Don't go for shorts there. And you look for this pattern only after after the big news Fridays or uh, New Year, when there are many many stop grabbing and profit taking. And I hope guys this has helped you. You can always watch this webinar again. You can try to spot this on your charts because the next webinar will be advanced bearish candlestick patterns and after that we will post some webinars and in, in between we will have some naked trading strategies so try to memorize everything we've done today. Yes indeed that was a, a very big PowerPoint, a great PowerPoint explanation here of, of no, all it of last, lasted almost an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nicely done. Uh, uh, let's you. see um, Someone's asking if these patterns work during important events like a Draghi speech period, for example. Oh, what is Draghi? Okay. Uh, what period? Like a Draghi when when Draghi is uh, ah when speech. Draghi when Draghi is speaking, uh, three line strike yes three line strike this pattern works like a charm. If you spot this when Ben, ben Bernanke or Draghi is speaking, then you try to to take it because this is indeed very very tradable news tradable pattern. You see bullish three line strike. If you spot this, don't go short. Try to see and try to enter a long position. And you try to go spot it on higher time frame. One hour time frame is especially suitable for this. And indeed, this is one hour time frame. Because most of trading news releases happen in one hour. So after this hour has been closed, traders went into the right direction. It's long. So always look for this on one hour time frame. It's the top of the hour trade so it can be treated as TOTH, top of the hour trade. And top of the hour pattern. Do we have uh, another question? Some other questions or yes, more we, questions? Yes, we do you? definitely. Does candle star indicator contain all these patterns? I don't almost know all of this. Yes, almost okay. all of this. I think it contains 95% of, of these candlesticks. Maybe more, maybe even more. Let's see. Um, that's about it, I guess. Okay, we don't have any more questions. We can call this a day, but if you have some questions, don't hesitate to ask us. Always remember, guys, follow us on Facebook. Um, Rick, on Facebook. The, the best is really to practice, 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 practice. Look at the charts and look for these specific patterns. Pick one and start looking at the charts for and trying to recognize those patterns and do that over and over again. Eventually you'll just remember all those patterns. Yeah, guys, this is, you need practice for this. You always try to practice by yourself, try to spot it, try to find indicator and practice charts. If you want to do naked trading, this will be especially important for you. You need to know about those advanced uh, candlesticks. So try to memorize this. Try to, try to have a mindset. Don't be lazy. Uh, take your seats and do your screening time. Always like us on Facebook page, try to follow us, watch our analysis, I will post analysis all, uh, every day or almost every day. So don't be lazy, try to, try to find the best in us, 
guys. Uh, let's see, someone's asking the Facebook ID. I don't know it by heart. Maybe we can check it out. Let's take a look. Facebook ID. Probably just add more markets, I would, I would say. It's, it's very easy to find it, guys. Facebook and you go for Admiral Markets because I upload my analysis every morning on Admiral Markets Facebook page. So All right. if you follow if you follow Admiral Markets you will spot my analysis with good uh, with good um, well most of that are very good for if you want to make some profit. Uh. There it is. Don't 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 forget it. Me and Chris trade full time, so try to to take this free information into your account. You can all you can profit from that. It's so simple. And this is a business. We need to make profits, right? We need to protect our equities. Yeah, this is it. Facebook. Yep. It's very it's very easy to find it. So try to look at this each and every day with our analysis. Next set of webinar is in six, seven days on Wednesday, and we will talk about advanced candlestick patterns, advanced bearish candlestick patterns. There are also around 30 bearish candlestick patterns. So try to find also candlestick indicator in between so you can practice by yourself at home. Alrighty, that will wrap it up, I guess. So looking forward to see you next Wednesday and not Thursday. Same time though, right? Just once again to repeat that, and we'll look at the bearish ones indeed. So looking yeah. forward and uh, good trading. And good, good trading, weekend. guys. Yeah. Thank you very much for attending and listening to us. See you in six, seven days. Cheers. Cheers. The organizer has ended the session and this